Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder, and I have another Reddit story for you. This one is from AITA and is titled, Am I the Askinoff for Refusing to Let My Parents Move In With Me After They Lost Their House? I, 33 female, have been living in my own home for a few years. I bought it with my own money and have worked hard to make it a comfortable and safe place after growing up in a very unstable environment. My parents, 60s, have always been terrible with money, constantly making poor financial decisions despite my efforts to help them budget. Recently, they lost their house due to foreclosure. They reached out to me asking if they could move in temporarily while they get back on their feet. But two additional adults would really stretch the limits of my house, and I value my privacy and independence. More importantly, my parents have a history of being overbearing and disrespecting my boundaries. The last time my parents stayed with me, they criticized everything about my lifestyle, rearranged furniture without asking, and even got into an argument with one of my neighbors. I offered to help them find an affordable rental and even offered to pay the first month of rent. I also found government assistance programs they can apply for. They refused, saying that family should stick together and that it was my duty to help them in their time of need. My siblings are divided. My older brother thinks I'm heartless while my younger sister understands my concerns. Hold up. The siblings are divided? Why aren't the siblings divided on jumping in? Their opinions divided? Wait, where is their effort? Where is their where is their duty? Both of them live in smaller apartments, so they do not have the option to host my parents. Well, fine. They could each take one of them. My parents have been guilt tripping me, saying they took care of me growing up and now it's not now it's my turn to take care of them. My parents are now telling extended family that I'm abandoning them and I am getting messages from relatives. It's making me second guess my decision, even though I know my mental state would suffer if they moved in. Am I the Askinoff for refusing to let my parents move in with me after they lost their house? Should I be more willing to accommodate them or am I right to stick to my own well-being and boundaries? I'm feeling very conflicted and could use some outside perspective. You are not the Askinoff for protecting yourself. You said it yourself, it was a very unstable upbringing. You already know based on experience that this would be a shit show. You know it would be that. Of course they're guilting you into this. Of course all the family members are trying to guilt you into this too because they don't want to have to take the care of them. You are not getting like a, 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 an unselfish opinion from anyone. Everyone has their own motives here. Everybody who is telling you that you're an asshole for not doing this is someone who just doesn't want to have to tell them no when they're asking them to stay there. Of course, they're trying to guilt you into it. They don't want that shit to roll downhill to them. So here is your unselfish opinion. Protect your mental well-being. Protect yourself from the damage you know they are going to inflict because you've seen it happen before. Protect yourself. Choose you like they never did. And unfortunately, you're going to have to just turn off the switch that listens to family members. Anybody who tells you you're an asshole and selfish for doing this is an asshole with selfish intentions. You're going to have to turn off the switch. You're going to have to turn off some notifications. You're going to have to block some people. You're going to have to mute some people. You're going to have to learn to not let it affect you to continue protecting that safe space. You created this boundary already. Just reinforce it now through whatever means necessary. If people choose to disrespect that boundary, they choose to not be a part of your life. Protect your peace. How long did it take and how hard did you fight to get it? Protect it. She'll never get them out, Irma. Never, never, never. Let one of the siblings get a bigger place. There you go. Of course, their opinions are divided. Like, oh, we just happened to live in a small apartment, which we did on purpose so this would never happen to us. But we don't really know what you should do. Oh, your place is too small. Hmm. Both of you. Mm. So you're both smarter than I am. Oh, yeah. Okay.